again, working on the TRX 125. Today, as you can see, I have the oil pan underneath the quad, and I've got myself a new oil filter here. We're gonna be doing an oil change to this quad. It's been two years, and this quad has been ridden quite a good bit, so I think it's deserved a brand new filter and some brand new full synthetic 100% ester oil. This is SN Plus, this is JSIO, or JASO MA2 oil. So that's the non-friction modified oil compatible with wet clutches, and this is the second iteration of that. This oil performed really well when I put it in my TTR and my WR. I totally changed how the clutch worked on that TTR. The clutch, you can engage it linearly now, it doesn't seem to want to lurch and grab so much so I think this is great oil so far it's uh I think it's better than the Lucas oil I was using the 10w40 for Lucas so yeah good stuff all right we'll start by opening up this oil filter housing here oh, you can get that started draining like a little quick here. Open up the drain or the, the dipstick just a little bit. Crack these loose. Take notes. These little 8 millimeter head bolts do not need to be super tight. Because guess what? They're 8 millimeter bolt heads with even smaller threads. So yeah. Oh <laughs> look at that oil. Oh, it's, oh, it's dark. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going for gold on this oil changer. This thing's going to be uh, running in tip-top shape here. Yeah, that's a little warm. Quick, get it out. It's quite hot. Oh, got a little spring. Got a little spring there. Just set that, set that down in there. And okie dokie, what do we got? Got an oil filter. Yep. With some oily oil. Yeah. Smells like it's been used. Check out this oil filter. Oh, making a mess. Yep, all right, I forgot I need a rag. But uh, yeah, look at the oil in there. I mean, it was changed two years ago, but that's, oh, look at that. Yeah, look at the grit. Oh no, she's blowed up. Oh man, she's all gritted up in there. Hmm. Well, if I was writing this down on a logbook, I would say small metallic particles found. Hmm. Well, alright, let's go get a rag, wipe my glove off. We're going to wipe out that little cavity there, and uh, we'll go ahead and put the new filter in and drain the oil. You know, there's no chunks in here. There's just little flakes. That, that could be clutch material. That could be uh, gears, gear dogs, little chattery pieces of that, which is all normal. And I, I, you know, this thing has had a couple false neutrals in the last two years, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past it. But I mean, this is not that bad. The uh, Bypass valve is working, so it's not not broken or anything. And if you look at the filter, the pleats, it, there's not, like, you're not seeing big chunks or any, like, you know, plastered with metal shavings or anything, so I'm not at all worried about this. This, this looks 
surprisingly good. The oil's dark. You know, it could have been. It's it's overdue for a change, but the oil quality. I think the oil has held up. It's just been contaminated. So definitely due for a change. And uh, yep, that's why we're doing it now. Of course, got a little little dribble dribble. That's just kind of how it works. Not a lot you can do. Yeah, you look in the cap here, there's there's no like flakes of stuff. I mean, there was that little bit in the bottom bottom, but it's, if, it was, if it was really wrong, you would see it all over the inside of here. The whole filter would have been covered in, in junk. I think, yep, that's the top. That goes up, I think. No, that goes down. Yeah, I don't know why they did it like that. Strange. Wanda, why do you use things a certain way? Nobody knows. Alright, let's get that drain bolt out. Got our 17 millimeter socket. Make sure I can get it in there. Yep, okay. We're in our loosening mode. Okay, that didn't take much. This is the part where you definitely want gloves. Oh, oh, oh. there we go. Got it. Because while some people in some situations can get the drain plug out without getting oil on their hands, this is not one of those situations and I'm not one of those people. I am going to end up with oil on my hands. Oh, it's so close. Oh, that's it. That's it right there. Yep. Oh yeah, warm oil all over my hands. Awesome. Yep. Black as molasses. Alright. Of course it's all over my hand. But that's why I put a glove on all over my socket but yeah that's just polish it's anti-rust don't worry about it and we'll let that dribble for a little bit Well, this drain plug does not have a magnet on it, so there's really nothing to collect on there, but I mean, these motors are so rock solid, there's, unlike a KTM, there's, Shots fired! Shots fired! there's really nothing to fall apart on the inside. I'll let that dribble just a little bit more. Usually you can tell if the oil is really dirty, but if you look at the little stream, if that thin little thread of a drizzle is like, really opaque you know you had really dirty oil because sometimes your oil looks dirty and then and then it's not that dirty well yeah it really isn't great when you got a smooth chrome line socket <laughs> that knee <laughs> Sometimes you get yourself in a position and your knee just like pushes on the concrete, it hurts. Sometimes grabbing these smooth chrome sockets are just, especially with oil and a glove, it's just a bugger. Great thing about these gloves, you can reuse them. They're, they're disposable, but you can also reuse them. So that's always great. Make sure we're in the tightening mode. All right, we're 
tight. Tight and ready to go. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're ready to reinstall our new filter. dirt on it. The spring goes in this side because it makes sense I guess. Yep. This part's tricky because you got the brake pedal in the way. I don't know why Honda did it like that, but they did. <laughs> Is that in there right? Yep, that's in there right. I always like to double check, make sure that little that little spring didn't like pop out or something stupid. Come on now, just trying to make sure I don't like somehow get this this cover on there crooked. It just seems to, I don't know, seems like it's off a little bit. Hopefully it's in frame. Still learning how to use this uh, new camera angle. Got our little dipstick here. Go ahead and set that over there. Got our oil. So we can go ahead and add some. Unfortunately, this uh, this bottle doesn't have any way of really looking at how much you have and how much you poured. So we just kind of got to go by feel. This oil is really clear. I just had this thought of like, did I forget to put the oil pan bolt back in? <laughs> yeah, that would be a real bummer. Alright, well I, I don't think it's full, but I want to see if it's showing up on the stick. So go ahead and grab my little paper here. Wipe that down. It shouldn't show up yet, but... Oh, hey, there we are. We're actually just... Just a little low. About halfway. Halfway up that little hash mark. So that was actually pretty good. 
I don't really know how I managed to guess that, that good, but let's put a little bit more in. Well, and I also got to remember that uh, the oil filter is going to, is going to take some oil. That's going to, that's going to eat up a little bit of oil when I start it, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Yeah, look how clean that oil is. Like this just makes it all dirty. You can see I'm kind of like right up up halfway this little collared area here. So actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna add just a little. I'm gonna add to the top of that, and then I'm gonna start it, and that should take it down to right where it needs to be. Give it a a funnel full. Now that should be exactly where I want it. Oh yep, right to that top there. Okay. Well, alright, so we filled it with oil. We've put in a new oil filter. And we made sure that the drain plug is tight. Let's go ahead and start it. Well, it's not making any weird noises. There's no rod sticking out of the side of the block, so that's good. All right, take this out, wipe it, dab it off. Where are we at? We are perfect, We're absolutely perfect. There, see if I can get a better shot of that. It's like right up to the top of, like, right at the bottom of that collar. And then on this side, it's right up to there. Hold on. Let me check that again. It seems like it only put the oil on one side of the dipstick. No? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Awesome. Looks good. Alright, all we gotta do now is just take this thing for a little ride around. And then we'll recheck the oil, make sure we're at the, well, yeah, actually looks, might not even need to recheck it. Put the cap back on. I don't know how much oil is left in there, but, yeah. Alright. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Pretty easy. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, let's see how smooth this thing shifts. Well, the, uh, it, the oil has improved the shift positivity. 
and uh, feels like I got five more horsepower too. I can shift it, I can shift it on the fly with the throttle wide open and it doesn't pop in the false neutral. So that's a definite improvement. I think the clutch, clutch engagement seems to be a little bit more firm, you know, when you're popping shifts that it doesn't seem to slip as much. It seems to just engage more. So. Now mechanically it seems a little bit quieter too, so that's nice.
thing just jams. Well, yeah, it's made a big difference having having nice grips on there, having a steering stem bushing that's not all chattery. And now, finally, for the final touch to this thing that's needed for the past two years, there is an oil change and a new oil filter. Because the last time I changed the oil, I didn't actually get a new filter, so yeah. This thing is running like a top now. Runs good, might not look the best. It's kind of holding itself together a little bit there. But all right, if you enjoyed this video or if you learned something, if you're like learning how to change the oil on a TRX 125, consider subscribing. If you really like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you want to see future videos for this, I got a video coming up here. I'm putting a new air filter in this bike. So uh, stay tuned for that. Alright, thanks for watching.